Hey everyone, I'd like to make a quick video that is a simple question for anyone that is working on Logic Pro X on a Mac especially, or any kind of device that Logic Pro X is on. I'm pretty sure it's on other Apple devices, but definitely a Mac for me. I was wondering why I don't have a lot of tutorials on how to make non-electronic music in Logic Pro X, or why there are not that many on YouTube or any other kind of program, or not really program, but social media site. And by non-electronic, I mean something like orchestras, rock, jazz, anything with acoustic instruments, including rock and metal, even though they use amps, but they still play with guitars and stuff. You name it. Now, why am I asking this? Because when I try to find tutorials for how to make or how to mix orchestras and stuff like that, or any kind of rock music in particular, Usually, I f they involve libraries that I have to buy that don't come with Logic Pro X, or yeah, I'm just going to say Logic in this case, or tutorials that are with other programs, or perhaps with pro, and maybe even those don't use programs that are available on Mac, let alone the kinds that you'd that you would not have to pay for. So, I'm pretty sure some of you are going to be asking, what would the potential be, or how is that even possible? to only stick with what you've got or anything that you don't have to pay for other than a Mac and Logic Pro, of course, if it unless it comes with your Mac. Well, I saw this video from Music Pro Sessions, a YouTube channel that's owned by this guy or the guy that was in the video, and I think he's the owner of the channel, but either way, he showed this video comparing different kinds of libraries of the same tune or four, four versions of the same tune with different libraries. One that costed a lot of money, one that co still costed plenty of hundreds of dollars. I think a few hundred, like 500 or something like that. I'm going to have to take a look again, but you guys can find it out in the description. One that's less than $100 and also, or if I said that correctly, and of course, one with free libraries. And they all did not sound that different. The only, it only, They only sounded slightly different in the direct comparison because it just sounded like they were slightly mixed differently. And that means if you were to listen to the free one, you would not hear much of a difference. And you'd be like, wow, I don't even have to pay for a lot of, I don't even have to pay a lot of money. So that's the potential. And if we can get more tutorials that can achieve this kind of thing, especially since there are not many on, on Logic Pro X stock instruments, especially studio strings, that should get more tutorials, especially with trying to make all those instruments sound like ensembles or string sections. If there's a, if we got much more of that, especially when we don't have a lot of it, I think a lot of people would be saved plenty of money. A lot of Logic Pro X users, including myself, because I'm still working on a remix of Prelude from Final Fantasy VII, and I'm still having quite a bit of trouble, actually quite a lot of trouble, actually not just quite, a lot of trouble on making the strings sound like their string sections played in a rehearsal that you'd buy tickets for. Or... Or at least a recording on, on, on a CD. Either way, realistic uh, in, with sections or realistic string sections, to, to be more precise. Now, some people are asking why I can't just... Some people are going to ask this. Why not just get the money to buy third-party libraries? Well, here's the thing. This is another reason why I'm asking for more tutorials on how to do this kind of stuff with stock plugins and stock instruments. Some of these libraries, especially the good ones, are going to cost you quite a bit. And, so, and like some of them cost a few hundred dollars. I think you could get a, a consult for that, a video game system in particular. And let's be honest, especially during a pandemic, when people are struggling to get money, as I've heard before, I don't think a lot of you guys are going to want to get the money for that. It's, and, or are you really guys really going to want to pay so much money for those kinds of libraries? Now, some of the, some of these kinds of programs, I know not all of them will. I mean, I don't think FL Studio is is the kind of program. But for Logic Pro X, a lot of people would be saved plenty of money, and I mean a lot actually. If there were more of these kinds of tutorials, that's another thing. Some people just don't want to pay hundreds of dollars. W with that said, I'm hoping better for the future, or I'm hoping a very bright future in terms of this kind of stuff. And as a result. I, trust me, guys, this would make it much easier, or it would make music composing in Logic Pro X a lot easier.
Anyway, I apologize for all that stuttering that was in the video. I just feel a little tired right now, and also I didn't make a full script. I just made a few questions on my notepad right now, as you can see, and after this, I'm going to be exercising because I want to stay active. But anyway, I hope you guys can stay tuned. I promise you guys will still be treated to something fun in my channel. But anyway, as for now, let's just hope it gets better later on. Anyway, guys, peace.